going on everyone? This is your boy Kevin back again with another video. I got another cool phone for you guys to review. If you guys can see in front of me, I got the Samsung S20 Ultra 5G. I want to tell you guys one thing first. The cost of this, $150. So, what are you thinking now? Obviously, it's a fake. This is very nicely done. Like, I mean, when I looked at it, the box, everything, very nicely done. So what we're going to do today, we're going to unbox it. We're going to see how good it is, how does it perform, does it even look like the real one or not. And at the end of this video, I'm going to let you guys know if this phone is worth to buy or not. And if you guys decide to buy this phone, I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can go pick it up. So yeah, before we start this video, don't forget to press that subscribe button, press the bell for new video notification. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. So let's unbox this, guys. Let's go. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. If you guys can see the box too, wow. Even the writings, everything is the same. Let's open it. Wow, everything's the same. Everything looks good. Wow, so nicely done, guys. I think we should look at it closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, now let's turn it on. It says Samsung LG Ultra 5G, so that's good to go. Okay, we got the screen, looks exactly like it. So this thing has got face unlock and fingerprint unlock. So let's try them both first. Let's Opens, not that fast response, but it does the job. You have to press it down for it to work. Let's try a different finger on it. Yeah, so the fingerprint is fake, guys. Try the face unlock. It works, but it's not as fast response. Now let's try the apps. Let's see. So you got your big C on the left. You got your calendar. You got your reminder. And uh, let's see the app that this phone comes with. So let's go to uh, Samsung first. So you got your SIM. You got your radio. Gmail, Map, YouTube, Google, Google Voice, Google Play, Microsoft, you got OneDrive, Browser, Calendar, Calculator, Camera, Clock, Contacts, Download, Facebook, uh, File Manager, Galaxy Store, Gallery, Messages, Music, Phone, Google Photo, Settings, and Sound Record. Let's check out the Galaxy Store. I guess it works. You just have to update it. So yeah, that's it for that. Let's bring the top settings down. So you got Bluetooth, location, mobile data, Wi-Fi, auto rotate, flashlight, airplane, uh, capture screen, do not disturb, mobile hotspot, always on display, and you got NFC, guys. Let's check out the settings. You got your connect, sounds and vibration. You got your display. This phone gets pretty damn bright, guys. Like, I mean, really bright. You got your wallpapers. You got your blue filter, always on display, front size, display size, when the device is rotated, casting, and etc. Screen and security, that's where uh, you set up your face unlock and fingerprint. You got your accounts, advanced featuring, maintenance, apps, language, time and date, software update, about phone, 
So if when you go to about phone, this is what it's telling you. It's going to tell you Android 10. And you got your develop options. You guys can see everything looks the same. Like I'm telling you, it's so nicely done. Let's go maps. Yeah, quick response. Wow, such a quick response, guys. Like ASAP open. Let's go to uh, browser. Bam. It's not a bad phone, guys. I'm telling you, the process is pretty fast. Thanks on this. Let's go here. The phone information, guys. So you got the Samsung S20 Ultra 5G, uh, GN889, Samsung. You got Android 7 running, that it says Android 10. For hardware, you got MT6580WP. Do you want to know? Display, you got 720, 1560 pixels. NFC not supported. Just the sound is not as loud, guys. You can play games on it. Just the sound is very low. I don't see any lag, so you're good to go. You got 720. So if you guys can see the colors, look at that red, that green, very nice. It's almost like you're watching a uh, AMOLED display. You're gonna enjoy watching movies in this, or videos. Let's check out the camera. It looks pretty clear. First of all, let's see how many zoom. You get four zoom. So you got video. So once you go on video, it's gonna start recording, guys. Make sure you know that. So that's pretty much it, I think, for the camera. So you got your HDR. You got your uh, full screen right there. Then you got uh, your timer, you got your flash, let's go to settings. So you got uh, just your normal stuff here. Just go to uh, camera. So you got your capture, picture size, etc. And for video, you can go to high quality, medium or low. So let's keep it at high. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Doesn't have any beauty or anything like that. So what I did, I took some uh, pictures and a quick video on this phone. So I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, so let's go front selfie. That's the main. So what's up guys? 
So now my opinion about this phone. Phone, $150, is it worth it or not? First of all, let me get tell you guys a couple of things. If you're looking, if you're trying to buy an S20 Ultra and you cannot afford it, and you actually want one, so you can show off with it for 150 bucks, yes, it is worth it, because it's so identical. Like, it, the apps, everything, like I'm telling you, everything is identical, the weight, everything, everything is almost the same. Like, it's hard to tell. If you put it down on the table and someone wants to use your phone, if you give it to them, they are not gonna be able to tell. The bad thing, the battery is not as big. So you only got 3,200 milliamp of battery. So it's not a that big a battery. The camera, the video quality wasn't the greatest. They are not that good at all. But you gotta remember, budget phone, $150. What are you gonna expect? The, for gaming, problem. so gaming was okay. Display. It's got an awesome display guys, like I mean awesome, it's the colors are so bright, it's like when you're watching a video or a movie or Netflix or whatever you're watching on it, you're going to actually enjoy it. Another bad thing, the sound, it's not that good at all, like it's really quiet, so you got to pretty much have a headphone or hook it up to a Bluetooth speaker. Overall, is it worth it for 150 bucks? I think it is, but you guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video guys. Don't forget to uh, press that subscribe button, press the bell for new video notification. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out for now.